First team, preseason, all Summit League. Last year, when we talked in a similar setting, you said that you believe that you're the best player in the conference. You're starting to get some of that respect from the media and from the coaches around the league. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. Um, you know, being picked top six best players in the league is a great honor. Um, last year, you know, I think I might have been a little immature in saying, you know, I mean, it was confident speaking, but, um, you know, I hadn't proven myself yet. So I think, you know, this year, kind of just building off what I did last year and and becoming a better player at the end of the year. I, I think people, you know, fans will interpret different things the way that they see them, right, the way they choose to see them. But I think from an athletic standpoint, you know, saying something like that mm -hmm. is completely within the bounds because 90% of sport is the mental side of it. Yep. If you're mentally yep. not there and you don't fully believe that you are that guy, mm -hmm. it's not going to happen, yep. right? So understanding that confidence and knowing, you know, you have that going into this season, you have another year under your belt, another year with Crutchfield. Mm -hmm. He's getting some guys in. The roster looks really good this year. Yep. So now you're going to have that team around you. How much confidence does that give you going into the season knowing, okay, we have some dudes here? I have a lot of confidence in our team this year. Um, this is probably my favorite team, like just roster wise that I've been with. We improved our point guard position with Biko Johnson. Um, you know, our center position improved. Um, and you know, we got our top six returner, returning scorers coming back. So, um, you know, us all having the, the good chemistry that we had, especially towards the end of the year, I think our, our level of play increased towards the end um, and we're just carrying it over to this year I'm really excited about it yeah and with that experience of some of those guys that are coming back on the roster including yourself what did you guys learn from that season last year I think uh, the biggest thing was learning how to fight through adversity uh, we kind of had a lot of it you know um, from an early early uh, season even to the end of the season a lot of injuries um, you know, our roster changed a lot during, or our starting lineup changed a lot during the season. Um, so I think just we all been through tough times last year and we knew how to um, get through it. So that'll help us this year. What have you really improved on over the past seven months since the last time you played here in, in the Premier Center? Yeah, I think um, my shooting, I really focused on my shooting uh, this off season. My freshman year, I think I was uh, low 40s. Last year I was below 30, um, so kind of just becoming that shooter again and then kind of just being able to read the floor better because um, as, as a top guy in the scouting report, you're going to be zoned in on the defense and you know being able for me to get my teammates involved and, and find other ways besides scoring to be impactful in the game. I think a lot of our problems last year were fixed this offseason by the weight room. We got quicker, got explosive, more explosive, stronger. Um, so that'll help our defense as well. You spend some time in Costa Rica as a team. Team trips, you get to do them every few years, but anytime you go on the road with your team, it seems like it's a chance to mesh yep. and to get that chemistry and that continuity, which ultimately translates from the relational standpoint to on the court, mm -hmm. right? You understand, hey, like little look will give you all right, let me get a back cut here. Something mm -hmm. like that, right? How has that kind of played a difference from, you know, those practices before that trip to yeah. after? Yeah, I think the practices before were huge. I mean, the, the practice length was longer, so, and we were playing more during it. So we were able to, you know, feel each other out. And then kind of during the Costa Rica games, we were able to see how each other plays during the game and, you know, see what works and what doesn't work. And then, you know, Outside of the games, we were all just hanging out because that's, there wasn't, I mean, there's a lot to do in Costa Rica, but when you're not from there, you don't know what to do. So right. you, you're all hanging with each other and doing everything together. So, you know, it was a great experience, great, um, like team bonding type, type thing. Where does this team need to improve during the season from this point, you know, forward to uh, get to where you guys want to be? I think, uh, we, we just got to get mentally tougher. I think um, we're good at fighting through adversity. Well, we could be better. 
um, and then kind of just keep figuring out ways uh, to play together and you know incorporate the new guys um, on the offensive and defensive end.